yes friendship is the best medicine and it's not just me who's saying that the research has proven it and not just one or two but around 148 researches done over the past 8 years have proven that a friend literally saves your life so today let's understand this research and how exactly does friendship keep you alive here's a common problem for any research done on friendships how do you define friendship you can't quantify it or you can't judge the impact that friendship had on your life because it's very subjective hence the researchers of brigham young university in usa came up with a very unique solution they went through all the research that was done on friendship for the last 8 years which amounted to 148 researches from this 148 researches they took out the data and tried to quantify it the first focus was on the number of friendship it didn't matter how deep the friendship was just numbers they quantified it between 0 to 5 and above then they recategorized this data on the type of interactions that they were having was it just a whatsapp chat or actually spending time together or was it going on trips together now that the data was categorized they started rearranging these people according to their life span which meant how long did they actually live and the results were amazing people who had friends irrespective of their age marital status gender or even pre-existing conditions just people who had friends had 50% higher survival chances as compared to people who didn't yes if you have a friend your chances of survival are 50% higher now that doesn't mean that you won't die even if your chances of survival are at 99% there's still that unlucky 1% that you might have to face even though it doesn't guarantee your survival it increases the odds of your survival to understand this let's take an example of a race if you're running alone your chances of winning are 20% but if you're running with your friends it increases by 50 now you like those odds don't you This amazing research also says that having a wide circle of friends will take this 50% chance of survival all the way up to 95%. The research also states that if you have just one friend, your chances of survival still rest at 20%, irrespective of the disease. So 20 to 95% chances of survival depending on how deep your friendship is and all of this has sound scientific reasoning behind it there are two theoretical models that work together to improve your life span first the stress buffering basically it's the ability to release your stress after a bad day the ability to share your grief to voice your complaint to have somebody to share your burden with people with friends have shown better ability to deal with the stress in their life which is very good for their health basically the dark parts of their life are less dark secondly we have the main effects model which basically works in making good parts better this model has shown that interacting with friends indirectly helps to adapt healthy behaviors it provides self esteem and purpose to life a sense of belonging that makes you want to live longer to enjoy life just a little bit longer many researchers have shown that after a certain age the patient's recovery depends on their will to live on together these two models work in tandem to keep your hearts going much longer than everyone else around you so when anyone asks who needs a friend the answer is simple you me and everyone on this planet needs a friend to survive thank you for watching this video i hope this video has helped you and happy friendship day